already made one pot. But it's so good. Oh, come on. Walmart. Let there be coffee. I made a video talking to you guys this morning and the video wasn't on. <laughs> I was looking at the back side of my phone. I couldn't tell the phone wasn't recording. So, do over. Hey, good morning everybody, Sarasota Tim. Coming to you from inside the Hidden Creek cabin. And I've got a nice pot of coffee waiting on me right here. Hang on, be right back. Going over here to this beautiful refrigerator. It's got uh, a light on the outside, ice maker, to, shows you the temperature on the inside. You come here to Hidden Creek, what I've noticed this morning, I wanted to talk about it a little bit. I got a few things I want to talk about. I know you guys like my chats in the morning. Uh, at, when you stay here, or pr probably when you stay anywhere, even a hotel, for uh, a very short time, <laughs> you start to see how they lay things out to try to make it comfortable for you. Well, there's a lot of things laid out here. I mean, endless. <clears throat> what I uh, really like about it is every which way you turn, when you wake up in the morning, you go about your day, uh, you know, you start to think about eating and you maybe you get a little bit bored and you want to have some kind of an activity. They have got everything in this kitchen for, you know, you bring your food and you bring your own coffee and you don't have to worry about even a knife or a fork, right? Okay, you say, Tim, that's a given. We know all that. And then you can just touch the button and that fireplace comes on. It is so cool. And there's, I don't know, three or four of them, I forgot. At least three. You just push this button. I would never want a fireplace, and this is not to cut down anybody that has a real wood burning fire, like in a real cabin. Those are awesome too, actually. But no smoke, <laughs> no smell, just heat and ambiance, and you push a button. You can't beat it. So, you know, you fire that on, you got this LED lighting. I'm about half blind, so I can see excellent. and. Every single moment, I mentioned this yesterday, you are aware that you're in a cabin. Look at this wood. Look at this A-frame. Look, look what I'm standing in. And I wanted to tell you guys, um, I'm making a lot of videos. Let me have some coffee. So good. I'm making a lot of videos about you know, the chalet we stayed in with, um, not with, but uh, from Tom and Joan. We're going to see them today. And then uh, Steve and Kathy are friends of theirs uh, down in South Florida in a neighboring city to us. And through just blessings and generosity, they had these dates open. And <clears throat> they do rent this place. You know, it's an Airbnb. So... It wasn't like an agreement, hey, go do that and make videos. But, you know, if you feel like you want to make some videos, it certainly won't hurt us for advertising. And if you wouldn't mind providing our link. So I've done that. And at the same time, I jumped at the opportunity. Not that I don't like camping in the wolf pup, and that wasn't our plan to go out and do. It's fine. You know, being at campgrounds, making fires, going out, making some, you know, food and everything like that. It's, it's awesome. And I'm still going to do it. I've been 
I haven't done as much as I've been in the house uh, in a chalet this month, but that was purely unexpected. And uh, so we've been making these videos and I've been promoting it. And I just, I'm glad because I want you to come here. I want you to go to Tom and Jones. I want you to, these are only within 25 minutes of each other. One's in Blue Ridge and one's in uh, Ella J. So I interrupted the video. Miss Tammy uh, wants to turn the oven on and make the biscuits uh, for us. So I thought I would come down here to the uh, game room where I slept last night. You guys remember me saying I was going to sleep in the bunk bed? All right, well, wait for it. Hang on one second. Let me put the coffee down. And let me do this. There's a, there's a button that I talked about right there. You ready? <laughs> I just love it. I never get tired of that. <clears throat> so, we're downstairs in uh, what I call the game room, or actually the, um, sorry about all the herky-jerky. Here is the infamous bunk bed. All right, I came down here last night. I did sleep down here, but it wasn't in that. I got over here. I took one step on here. And I thought, you know, look at this narrow area here and this railing. I said, I can't get up in this. There's no way. And I certainly can't get out of it. <laughs> I said, so no go. And I so much wanted to, the kid in me, because it would be very comfortable up in there. But I couldn't get out. I wouldn't know how to get out. Without a ladder or something here, uh, it's for a kid. But it's very wide. If an adult had to sleep there, maybe a young adult, a little more agile than me, go for it. Certainly down here. I mean, they're doubles. They're not a twin bed. This is a big, this is the biggest bunk bed I've ever seen. And sturdy, it's not wood. So I uh, came over here. Uh, <clears throat> I gave Miss Tammy her privacy last night. You know, maybe I snore, maybe whatever. I just wanted, I just wanted to sleep in this bed. I couldn't get her to come down here with me. So I kicked it in the uh, low contemporary, I call it. And it was amazing. <clears throat> the, uh, the memory foam is so good. I have one of my own bed. And I remember when I had a place in Sarasota, a condo, not the camper bed. We have one on that too, but they're so, you sit in them, they don't, they're not too soft, but you can't get out of them. I mean, I went to get out two or three times to pee last night and I had to rock myself to get out because they're so, um, they, they take you, they absorb you. Well, let's put a light on here. Where are, where are the lights? That's a fan. That's a hall light. Did I bring my readers with me? I don't think I did. Oh, I remember where it is. I got it, Steve. Right behind the door here. <laughs> and they're all labeled too. It's not that difficult. But anyway, let me set this up a second here. I gotta get back on that coffee, even though I drank a pot already. Hang on. Ah. There we go. Here's to you. I actually made a video this morning sitting right here. And guess what? The phone wasn't on. I wasn't recording. But that's all right. I looked like hell anyway. I had bed head and bed face and everything else. But I hit the ground running in the morning. <clears throat> and I wanted to talk to you guys. What were the topics that I mentioned? I mean, let me start with comments because I know that a lot of you are watching and thank you for you 59,000 and counting, almost 60,000. I think we might hit it uh, before we get back to Florida. I'm really hopeful. I asked you guys to check your settings to see if you were unsubscribed somehow. And if you watch my videos to uh, consider subscribing again, there was somebody that said that that happened to them and then somebody else said it also happened to them that they weren't subscribed. In this way, uh, you'll get a little blue light. You won't get notified unless you hit the bell. 
of a new video. But you already know there's going to be a new video because they're coming out every hour. <laughs> Somebody got mad at me yesterday because there were too many videos. Well, today you might get a break because we're going to visit Tom and Joan at the chalet in LJ with the big view uh, where we stayed last week. And they've invited us to come down and spend the day with them because they're up enjoying their own property. And Steve and Kathy like to come up and enjoy uh, their property too. They told me yesterday in, in a text that they're really enjoying the videos and it kind of makes them a little bit jealous and they're envious because they hate to leave here and go back to beautiful sunny South Florida. <laughs> Can you imagine having both worlds? How lucky is that? So back to the comments. Um, <clears throat> you know, I always talk about how we read them all. And what I said this morning that I wanted to reiterate was when I read a comment, it's so uh, important that I answer that comment, but I read the next one and then I think I need to answer that one and then I go to the next one because your comment is like you want to talk to me and you're asking me questions and you're making statements and they're so you know thoughtful and you took the time to do it. And I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring you because I just can't, I just can't, I want to read the comments so fast and then I try to answer them in these videos. <clears throat> but let's begin with a category. Uh, one is on the cooking with the grill. I got it. <laughs> and your tips are important. Um, getting all the eyes lit up instead of just the two and getting it really hot. Searing it in a pan uh, prior to cooking it, then throwing it on the grill or in the oven. I've seen on cooking shows or using a meat thermometer and you know checking it. And so I made one overdone in Boynton Beach and this one yesterday was underdone, but don't give up on me. I think the next time I'm gonna get it right. And I know all the tips now, thanks to you. And, the, and I just really appreciate the information and the feedback that we get from uh, the comments. And then the loving comments, of course, we never get tired of, you know, the, the kind things that you say about Tammy and myself are so appreciated. We really, really think we have the best community in the world. And I wanted to say uh, this, we've been making a lot of, I've been making a lot of videos in the last week or so of these fancy places, these, these wonderful cabins, these chalets. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm bragging. I'm so enthused and excited about the two places invited to come, you know, uh, from the generosity of the owners that I don't want you to think I got and you don't or this. I'm just trying to share uh, what you can come and do if it's affordable to you or you have someone you can share it with. Um, and, and I hope that it helps uh, Steve and Kathy for this place and Tom and Joan for the chalet down in Ella J because they were so generous to let us stay here. But these dates were uh, open, nobody had booked it, it wasn't costing them anything. And so they said, hey, go have some fun. You know, enjoy yourself. Let us be a blessing to you. And then in turn, I'm trying to be a blessing to them by sharing the link to the, it's a, it's a, it's a rental, it's an Airbnb. It's also their home though. So they take a lot of pride in it. And so I, I wanted you to know that when we get back next week, to Boynton Beach, and I'm in the Wolf Pup Camper uh, there on my beautiful spot in my home base on the Intercoastal Waterway during the best time of the year with the winter coming. I will be the envy again because while everybody will be in snow and ice up in New York and the north, I'll be on the beach in South Florida. So I'm a very blessed man, but I don't want you to think that I'm bragging or anything. I'm just trying to bring you some, some exciting content and I hope you enjoy it. And if I come across that way, well, you can tell me in the comments and I'll, I'll get off my high horse. I'll, I'll bring it down. I want to be humble. But we are very, very appreciative of you and of the generosity of the folks that have invited us to stay, including, I'm so sorry I mentioned, I was sick. That's why I, I, don't, I maybe don't want to remember. Mr. Ben in Charlotte, uh, the video I made of um, classic firearms, he has been in touch with me pretty much daily. He watches all my videos, he comments. He invited us to stay at that lake house. I mean, that was a house, that was a big property. Uh, also kind of like a cabin, you know, because it's up there on the lake. Um, 
but I, I was sick in his home and I laid there and he was such a blessing to me uh, to be able to lay up there versus can you imagine uh, being ill and being in a little tiny camper or a tent or whatever, some small, a hotel, you know, and having to pay and all that. So uh, Ben has been, he has become a very good friend. And, you know, when we went out on the boat on the lake, him and I, uh, we, we connected and we shared some things in our personal lives uh, that has made a friend of him and I, you know, for life. And um, <clears throat> he's also sent links and things to Tammy and I out traveling uh, of all these places that we can go. He, he set us up with the first option that we didn't take because it was only good for one night to camp in Maggie Valley. And he found me another place that was open for two nights. And praise God for that because to go through all that after 24 hours the next morning and having to leave and go move to another campground, I would never ever accept a one night camping spot I would just soon stay at a Cracker Barrel or a Walmart parking lot, boondock, and then just move on the next day. Um, but to go through the thing of setting up all that and the awning out, and it's not really that much, but it really kind of silly uh, to check in in the afternoon, the nighttime comes quick, and when you wake up, you can't even go anywhere because they want your ass out of there. <laughs> so Ben has been kind of helping me with logistics and he let me stay at his, uh, he said, don't stay at the uh, Walmart there in Charlotte, come down here to Classic Firearms and stay right outside here, of which we did. And we had electric and everything. And so each one, um, Ben, uh, Steve and Kathy with this place, and of course, Joan and Tom, where we're gonna go today, we'll make some videos. And uh, if they wanna be on video and put them on the channel, you know, you can't make friends that easy. Your circle sometimes, you, you go to work or you go to the store and you, you know, you come home, you, you, you know, you do your little circle. Every now and then you shoot out, you know, on vacation or something gives you a reason to go over here or you travel a little outside of your circle. And while you may make an acquaintance and meet somebody, um, sometimes you go years without, you know, increasing your, your friendship. And it takes years to make friends. But sometimes when you know you're gonna have a friend for life, uh, you know them when you meet them, right? You've got them. <clears throat> and my list is somewhat <clears throat> short. You know, I've moved around a lot in my life and uh, kind of been a, a loner kind of a guy, but I've got some really good friends now and I'm gonna cherish them and, and take care of them and, and do whatever I can for them if I can, because they've really done for me without expecting a single thing. And so thank you so much uh, to you folks. And for my community out there, like I was saying earlier in the comments, that help us with the uh, tips on, um, on everything, you know, from using a grill to uh, your kind, loving comments and appreciating and saying you're gonna rent these places or you're gonna go there too, or um, tips on, the, on, on, uh, on my Tundra about the transmission and, and different things I can do. I mean, I'm getting a wealth of information from you because we read the comments. I'm so sorry I don't answer each and every one of you because you are taking the time. Let me take one more sip. It's already getting cold. <clears throat> and now, not, not bad comments, but let me say hilarious comments. I knew when I put the video up of the tiny home, uh, the sheds. <laughs> Some people say, it's a shed. Look. They have sheds, what he calls barns, there. They look like a barn. They look like a shed. They look like something you put your lawnmower in or your, you know, whatever. But the ones that I was showing you that have a house roof, a house porch, and a house door look like a house to me. I mean, albeit it's not a custom-built home made of block. You know, a lot of homes are built of wood, and <clears throat> they were unfinished on the inside, Nothing saying you could not plumb that out and live in that. And they were huge, a couple of them. So 
If that's what you call a shed, then you got a lot of lawnmowers. <laughs> you got a lot of, I know you can make a, a shop out of them. You can do a lot of things, but they didn't have garage doors on them. You couldn't put your cars in them. So to me, they look like tiny homes. And I read your comments about, oh, it would cost so much money for land and certain cities aren't gonna allow them and you gotta put plumbing and electric and appliances and this and that. I get it, I get it, and, and I agree. You know, but when you're starting at 10 to 20 grand, 15 grand, like on the average, for an already made pretty big tiny home, you know, and you got that part, if you can arrange the other part, you got private property, you own property, you're in a city where you can get the permits, of course you got to do your due diligence. A lot of people are doing it. And, um, and there's also solar and things you can do to live off grid that you don't need electric per se. Uh, and, um, you know, just don't, you gotta have a water source, but you know, I, I just made a video. I thought they were cool looking. I wanted to see inside of them. So on the comments, I don't really answer those that want to say it's a shed. Okay. Um, uh, pretty darn nice shed anyway. Uh, and what else? Oh, I wanted to talk about this cabin again. What a shocker, right? <laughs> I made 10 videos yesterday or something like that. But what I'm impressed about is the companies that run these for, not everybody you know, has a company, but most people are using a, a company that you book through and they take care of everything, they fix anything, they clean it when you're gone and, and all that. But I'm sure the owners have a lot to do with picking out the, um, the decor and the appliances and all that. But it's just amazing to me you know, Tammy and I, when we get a nice room at a Hilton or something, we say, we could live in this. Look, why can't we think when we get us a little apartment that this is all you need? This, this sofa with this kind of a bed, this little nightstand, the simplicity, but yet all the way around all four walls, you have the essentials. You don't have stuff and crap you don't need. And in the drawers, they place all these essentials. You know, there's a lot of essentials up there because there's different times and different cooking needs, but you got it. You open the door, there it is. It's so bitching because every which way you turn, you want to make a cup of coffee and then there's the cup. You know, you don't even have to open a, a cabinet. It's right there. And if you want a, a, a one cup, um, what do they call this thing? Keurig? It's there too. And uh, we had that griddle yesterday to make the, the pancakes on. I always wanted to use one of those, you know, like a short order uh, cook. In fact, I got to go pretty soon because Tammy's got biscuits cooking upstairs. I just wanted to come down here and make this video. But like I say, I don't want to brag, but this is so amazing to me. And I can see how it can be addictive that you'd want to do it again and book another one or come back here where you know it's already good. I mean, if it's good, it's good, right? And, you know, Blue Ridge is right down the street. The Tacoa River is right over there. Um, the Tennessee line, that train ride, uh, forget the McKaysville is up there. There's all these things. There's hiking trails. There's everything. And it can't get any prettier. I know we didn't go to Maine or Vermont and all these places that I would love to visit one day. We didn't do it this time around. But, I mean, if it gets any prettier than this, I don't know. I mean, this, this road I went down yesterday, I made about a six minute video on something Curtis. We're gonna drive down that again today when we go see Tom and Joan at the chalet in LJ. And that is like the prettiest road I've rode on in a long time. And all my eyeball, my eyeballs are just taking in all this beauty. I'm experiencing all this stuff. We've gone from the house in Charlotte with Ben's place to the chalet to here. And then even, being with my daughter for several days in between and we're gonna go back. That's been a, a great thing. We went shopping, we went, we cooked out, we had a fire there, we made baker tacos. Everything that we thought we were gonna do really didn't happen. We just thought we're gonna just start traveling up. Do we go to the East Coast? Do we go out West? Where do I go? I didn't know. And God has provided such a perfect 30 day vacation and we got about a week left and I just wanted to express in this video this morning, my deep gratitude in my humble, humblest way I can possibly say it, the appreciation that we have for all those that have hosted us, 
all those that comment, all those that watch my videos, all of you that subscribe, even all of you with some, um, with some constructive criticism. We value each and every one of you, and I hope that you continue to follow along vicariously and continue to support us through your uh, tips and, and tricks and the things like that to give us, give us a better life. And uh, on a final note, I did say this this morning, it just came to me. I spoke to my landlord down there in Boynton Beach where I keep the camper. And I have decided that uh, of everything I've been talking about in these videos and you know, wanting to be here in Georgia or the Carolinas, because of the economy, because of the cost, and because of the amount of money I have, at 8% and a half a million dollars for anything that you look at, it's just not feasible. And buying a piece of land and then building on it or doing something like that, that, that goes up too. So we're going to keep on doing what we're doing as a home base. My Medicare kicks in on December 1st. That's based on my zip code. My auto insurance is based on my zip code. The weather is going to be stellar in South Florida. We're going to be the envy of the world. And I'm on the water there, like I say. And I also can be a blessing to him. He has some building that he wants to do. And I can be a laborer and help him with a few projects. And we reciprocate with one another down there. Of course, without even mentioning it, Tammy's people, the grandchildren. So there's lots of things that are kind of rooted us in and holding us. But that doesn't mean now that we've seen that we can't yank that wolf pup out of there and go and travel or just take the camper and use the benefits of Jonathan. I want to thank Jonathan so much out there. Thank you, Jonathan, for the benefits of the Hilton properties that we get to stay out at a discount because he's added me as his family member or a friend which people that work for those properties can do. And uh, we can just travel that way and go off and do if we feel like it and go over to Sarasota and see my dear friends, uh, Fred and Raffaella, who we uh, made a video one time and have her uh, at great Italian cooking. Can't wait to see them again. And I know they're following along. Hello, Fred and Raffaella. And so uh, we have a great life that we're doing and we encourage you to kind of build your life the same way, enjoy every minute of it. Remember yesterday is gone. No matter what happened, uh, it's gone. If it was good and you got some memories, great. If it was a bad day, you didn't act right, somebody didn't act right towards you, um, you, didn't, you had an argument or something with somebody close to you, you know, wake up today, make today the day. To do what? <laughs> That's right, to crush it.